The Lyrian League is just around the corner and its antagonist is shrouded in mystery. While many leagues introduce new lore, there is evidence that this league's main boss is a character we have seen briefly in the past, Tang Mazu, the trickster who turned Lunaris and Solaris against each other and began the eternal war between Moon and Sun. Who is Tang Mazu? We only see him very briefly in the story about Lunaris and Solaris. Solaris and Lunaris ruled over the Esmeri together in the distant past until Tang Mazu interfered. Sin is the only person who knows that it was Tang Mazu, who he describes as Trickster, who was behind turning the sisters against one another. In the story, Solaris is captured by someone in a mask of bloodless gray. Lunaris was associated with the moon and the color silver, so Solaris assumed that her captor in the gray mask was one of Lunaris's followers. A follower of Solaris found her and set her free from her captivity, and Solaris returned to the Asmiri and accused Lunaris of this crime. Lunaris was confused, but also was proud and maybe a little crazy, and denied any involvement outright. So Solaris tied up Lunaris and hid her underground, a true follower of Lunaris released her, and since then Solaris and Lunaris have been in constant war. And so far, that's all we've seen of Tang Mazu. Literally only one mention of him by name in in-game dialogue. Now, one of the uniques from Delirium League refers to Tang Mazu, the unique chest called Perfidy. Perfidy is defined as deceitfulness, untrustworthiness, and its flavor text reads, The trickster god turned the very day and night against each other. While Tang Mazu wasn't referred to as a god by Sin, it can't possibly be anyone else. But how does this indicate Tang Mazu is the new main league boss? The next line reads, What hope have you? Which seriously suggests that we will be facing Tang Mazu. As we've seen, great feats can turn a mortal into a god. Tukahama became a god by teaching all the Karui the ways of war. Abarath became a god by drinking a bunch of goats. Arakali became a god because she was super horny. So I think turning the very sun and moon against each other and inspiring an eternal war is a pretty plausible path to divinity. So we'll probably see Tang Mazu at some point in Delirium. But why do I think he's the final league boss? For one, the color scheme of Delirium is gray, which matches Tang Mazu's gray mask. In addition, the silhouette we see and can presume is the final boss has horns that look like Loki, the Norse god of chaos, also known as the trickster god. The mirrors that this thing creates that we enter to change an area to its delirium state look oddly geometric and fractal. They do not look natural or crystalline. And one of the only other mentions of Tang Mazu is the flavor text of the Fractal Thoughts mask, which has a similar aesthetic. This flavor text reads, The more the warrior understood Tang Mazu's gift, the less the mask aided him. His dreams were filled with divine laughter. We know Tang Mazu is associated with masks, but also this fractal mask gave the warrior who donned it power, but also madness. The Delirium trailer has many references to madness, including move quickly through the mists of madness, and a little madness may expand your mind. The final key in this puzzle is that you can gather splinters to enter a realm called a simulacrum. The definition of simulacrum is an image or representation of someone or something. It's a term often used to describe a mirage, clone, or AI that is representing someone else. But Tang Mazu imitating a follower of Lunaris to trick Solaris could also be considered a simulacrum. One last thing, the flavor text of the simulacrum map reads, How do you defeat that which dwells within you? Which makes me wonder if we'll be fighting a version of ourselves in this final realm, like a Dark Link encounter. Some kind of twisted Grandmaster's situation. So maybe Tang Mazu isn't an actual boss, but just the creator of the true final boss ourselves. Maybe Tang Mazu is just the instigator like he was in the war between Solaris and Lunaris. Or maybe we will fight him. We'll have to wait and see. But if anyone's planning on playing a max block build and ends up having to fight themselves, I say good luck and stay sane, exile. Someone new Baby, but you know